Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading. What is your shadow work? This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, you can apply this to Jupiter if you want uh, for December 2021. So we are going to take a look at what your shadow side is, what your shadow work is. We all have it. So we'll see what that is. Um, apply this to your own unique situation. Um, you know, it could be someone that you know that's going through this or, you know, uh, or that they have work that they need to do. So, um, we're going to pull some oracle just to see what, um, what messages we have for you guys, Aries, and then we'll clarify it with the tip. Okay. Before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. For those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, Aries, let's get started. So we're going to pull some oracle and then we'll uh, pull some tarot, okay? What messages do we have for Aries? What is your shadow work? What is Aries' shadow side? What is, what is Aries' Aries the shadow work for December 2021, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and Jupiter. All right, let's see what we have here. Release 13. So that is like the tower card here. On the bottom of the deck, we have, yeah, I feel like Master. So that is like the double energy here. So I feel like, Aries, I feel like you might be working on trying to release that, um, that negative energy that you've been carrying around here with you um, for however long. I feel like you're trying to do the work to release it, transcend it, transmute it. What other messages do you have for Aries regarding um, their shadow work here? What does Aries need to know? Focus on the positive, yeah. So new moon in Sagittarius. You could have Sagittarius in your chart. You could have a Sagittarius in and around your energy here. Yeah, I feel like you're going through a lot of changes and I feel like you're really open to it. New moon in Aquarius opens a change on the bottom of this deck. So you might have Aquarius in your chart. You might be dealing with an Aquarius in and around your energies. What else do we have for Aries here regarding their shadow work and their shadow side? What does Aries need to know? So I feel like you're going through a lot of positive changes, perhaps changing the way you think and also react uh, to negativity here. So let's see what else we have here. We have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So I feel like with that, I feel like you're, you know, perhaps asking for help. Loneliness on the bottom. I know that I'm never alone. Maybe for a long time you felt like you were alone. You felt like no one was really supporting you in your life. But I feel like there is, you know, in life you do have those people that are going to stick around to sort of help you on your way. And I feel like you're trying to surround yourself with people that are going to support you in your happiness here. Uh, positive people, optimistic people. So let's see what else we have here for Aries regarding their shadow work. All right, tell me about release. What does Aries need to know about release here? The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Could be dealing with the Taurus here. You might have Taurus in your chart, but I really feel like you're turning to somebody here for help. This could either be a therapist, a spiritual advisor, um, four of wands. So that this is an indication that you could also be releasing a toxic relationship too. Uh, 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 perhaps a toxic marriage here that you've been in for a long time. Um, 
tell me about focus on the positive. All right, Seven of Swords. Yeah, I just feel like we have someone here that keeps looking back, though. Looking back at the negatives. And I feel like you're trying to change that. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to change that. We have the Emperor here. Aries energy. There you are right here. So you could be dealing with another Aries. Past or present. We have the Devil here. Capricorn energy. Yeah, I just feel like you're in this energy of really releasing negativity in your life. And really trying to look forward. Trying to look forward here. Let's see. In the Three of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you are also maybe changing your friend group too. Perhaps you were surrounding yourself with people that have hurt you in the past. And I feel like you're trying to heal from that. Um, you know... Your shadow work dates back to, you know, you know, all the stuff that you've accumulated throughout your life. A lot of this could also be ancestral and uh, generational. What else do we have for Aries here? Tell me about the Hierophant and the Four of Wands. The Tower. Aries Scorpio energy. You're going through a lot of positive changes here, Aries. I mean, this is looking really, really good. And I feel like, you know, it hasn't been the process. You know, healing doesn't happen overnight. So, and everyone's on a different timeline. We have the Three of Wands here with the Seven of Swords and the uh, Emperor. Yeah, I just feel like you're in this energy of no longer looking back. You know, perhaps at one point you were. You know, really focused on, you know, some stuff that were, was unresolved with people here. You know, not, not getting the proper closure. Perhaps now you're in this energy of getting the proper closure that you're looking for so that you can live a positive, more healthier life here, um, emotionally and mentally and spiritually. Tell me about the devil and the three of swords. Ace of pentacles. I mean, you're de definitely starting new again you're definitely starting new again um the tower the high priestess i feel like there's an energy of knowing that you have to release this knowing that you have to make that change in order for you to have this positive life that you're looking for here three of wands the chariot. Yeah, you're definitely moving forward here. This looks really good, Aries. Could be dealing with a cancer. You might have cancer in your chart. Uh, keep in mind, this could be, like I said, this could be you. This could be someone that's doing all this work on themselves. So just apply, apply this to your own unique situation. Ooh, that is too many. All right. That is too many. Okay. All right, tell me about this Ace of Pentacles here. Five of Pentacles. I mean, so I feel like you're leaving, you're starting over again. You're leaving a lot of friends behind. Friends that are no longer adding and serving you anymore. You're making a lot of changes for yourself and for your environment that's outside of you. So let's see what else we have here. What else do we have for Aries? world. Yeah, you're definitely closing out the cycle here. The cycle is closing out for you. I mean, Aries, this is looking really, really good. Someone here is making some really big positive changes in their life and really moving to calmer waters. Perhaps some of you guys are even physically moving to a new location. Um, perhaps maybe somewhere, uh, you know, a different state, a different city, a different country, different continents. You have the Nine of Swords. You are slaying the dragon here. Yeah. I feel like you are not going to let, you know, your pa your 
stress and anxiety get to you. Um, you know, some of you guys might even be, you know, like I said, speaking to a therapist to really unwind a lot of the, these demons that you've been dealing with here. Let's see what else we have here. Got the eight of wands. We have judgment here on the bottom of the deck. And then the, the king of wands, more of your energy. You're definitely making a decision here to choose a better life for yourself. Like I said, there's this energy of really cutting out the negativity and focusing on the positive. I mean, this is going to be the title of, the, of this uh, video. You are slaying the dragon here for your demons. So Aries, I hope this was helpful. This was your uh, general reading. What is your shadow work? If this resonated, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Bye guys.